Hello friends, I am back. Jonathan is hungry, so he might join us a little bit later. Um, speaking of hunger and feelings, today I wanted to talk a little bit about feelings. Do you have a favorite song that you listen to over and over again? It just makes you feel good? Or a favorite story that you read or someone reads to you? Um, how does that make you feel? Do you feel happy and excited or um, brave or calm and sleepy? What about sad or mad? Let's start our singing time together by singing a song about feelings that I'm sure you all know. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But maybe you're not feeling happy right now. Maybe you're feeling sad and lonely. You need a hug. If you're sad and you know it, give a hug. If you're sad and you know it, give a hug. If you're sad and you know it, then here's a way to show it. If you're sad and you know it, give a hug. Or maybe you're feeling mad. If you're mad and you know it, squeeze your hands. If you're mad and you know it, squeeze your hands. If you're mad and you know it, then here's a way to show it. If you're mad and you know it, squeeze your hands. So sometimes the same song or story can make us feel different ways. It's almost like the words are changing, even though it's not really the words that are changing. It's just that the Holy Ghost might be helping us feel something new and different so we can learn and grow. In the Doctrine and Covenants, the Lord told Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery that he would send the Holy Ghost to speak to our mind and our hearts through thoughts and feelings. He will send the Holy Ghost to help you when you need it most. Bringing gifts of life and love, the powerful messenger of Jesus. That's a little song we like to sing from a CD series called Scripture Scouts. So at our house, we sing that to remember that the Holy Ghost is a powerful messenger of Jesus. Now, the Holy Ghost speaks to our minds and hearts in different ways, in different feelings. I have asked Brother Wilson to play Book of Mormon stories with a few different feelings in mind. As you listen, you can sing along, but also be thinking, what does this song feel like? Hi, primary children. Here is Book of Mormon stories in different moods. See if you can figure out which verse goes with which kind of feeling.
did you think? Could you guess all the different feelings? Brother Wilson's pretty good at changing the song so that it can mimic the different feelings that we might have. Now, in the book of Mosiah, we read the story of Abinadi. And in this book of Mormon story, the wicked King Noah and his priests were angry at Abinadi because he told them that God wanted them to repent. And so they were angry and frustrated and decided to kill him. But it made Alma, who used to be one of the priests but ran away, because he believed the words of Abinadi, he felt scared and sad. And later on, when the people in Zarahemla heard what had happened, they also felt sad and surprised. That same story, that same event of Abinadi teaching and dying, that story felt different to different people. Now, sometimes other people will say, oh, it's okay, I know how you feel. And sometimes nobody knows how we feel and it can feel really lonely and our feelings can feel big and heavy. But I want to bear my testimony to you that no matter what happens, there is one person who knows exactly how you're feeling and that is Jesus Christ. Because of his atonement, he knows exactly what you're feeling, whatever it is. And he can comfort you in ways that no one else can. Alma testified of this when he said, Now the Spirit knoweth all things. Nevertheless, the Son of God suffereth according to the flesh, that he might take upon him the sins of his people, that he might blot out their transgressions according to the power of his deliverance. And now behold, this is the testimony which is in me. In the previous verse, he says that he suffered according to the, he will take upon him death. Remember, Jesus died and was resurrected for us that he may loose the bands of death which bind his people. He will take upon him their infirmities. And his bowels will be filled with mercy according to the flesh, that he may know how to succor his people. I know that because Jesus came to earth and felt all the badness and sadness that we would ever feel, he knows exactly how we feel. And he can send the Holy Ghost to help us when we need it most. And I leave you with one last verse of the Book of Mormon Stories song. As I sing, I want you to think about how this week, as you read scriptures as you, with your family, think of and pay attention to your feelings as you read and talk about the scriptures. And notice the feelings of the people who are in the scriptures and the Holy Ghost can teach you things. Just like the same story can be felt in different ways. Book of Mormon stories teach us lessons for our days. Some are sad and some are glad, we'll read them carefully. So we'll learn how to live righteously. I hope you feel the Holy Ghost, especially as you sing.